Hello guys, welcome back. Thank you all for your love and support. The last video I posted that was around two weeks ago about electric power generator did very well. Currently is at 6,500 views. And right now I'm still working on the system, which I'm going to upload a new update that will be tomorrow. Thank you all for your love. Thank you all for your support. Thank you all for creating a wonderful community. I really appreciate it a lot. And I'll be creating more content, giving you more updates on how the system is going. I really want to let you guys know that electric power generator, which is also known as um, fuelless generator, it does work, but not in the way most people used to say it works. Like for example, people will tell you that fuelless generator, you can use an electric motor to drive or spin an alternator, generate electricity, and then use the electricity to power back the electric motor. I want you guys to know that it won't work. Following the principle or the law of conservation, which states energy can neither be created nor be destroyed, but can be converted from one form to another. So now using an alternator or, or um, an electric motor to spin an alternator, generate electricity, using it to feed back that electric motor, following that law, theoretically, it is fine, but practically, it won't work. I've tried it so many times. I've tried to use uh, contactors, relay, to try to switch the system within milliseconds, but it doesn't work. It is because you cannot use, you can't take power from nothing and try to feed it back inside the system and expect it to work. Remember, you have to use an external source to power the system, generate electricity, and find a way to sustain the source or the power that is driving the motor. So guys, I want you guys to know that using an external source of power, it includes using a battery pack. Most times, some people do use the system of 12 volts, 24 volt system to power the electric power generator, to drive the electric motor, to spin the alternator, generate electricity, and in turn, find a way to sustain the source. That is the way you can make the system work, which is very practical. I want you guys to know that someone asked me a question. The person says that, did I do any modification to the system or to the alternator? The answer is no. One thing I would have loved to do differently is to modify the alternator to like produce electricity on low RPM. Because currently the my alternator generates electricity around 3000 RPM to 3600 RPM, which is a little bit a lot, but it does work. So I, the changes I did was to convert the automatic volt regulator into a capacitor to give me maximum output from the system. Because I noticed that whenever you are using an automatic volt regulator, the current you are going to get or which is going to be produced by the alternator will be less. I was getting around 120 volts output from the alternator, which was low for my liking. So what I did was to convert it into a capacitor and I got an output of 250 volts. So you can see the difference. But the good thing about automatic volt regulator is that it works with combustion engine. Whenever you plug an heavy appliances to a generator, the system tends to come down based on the draw or the load that is being plugged to the generator. So what the automatic volt regulator does is to send a signal to the engine that you, we need more power to increase the power so as to 
compensate for that load. So, but for our for the fuel generator, we don't need it. We just need a capacitor to get maximum output into the system. So, guys, I'll be dropping a new video tomorrow, and um, the video you will see most of the updates and the upgrade I've done to the system. I connected a transformer, which will be giving out three different outputs and those outputs will be used to power back the system and um, you will see how efficient the system is running but though i use an external source of power to drive the system right now it's not working on its own but later on i'll show you an update how the system will work on its own and how we're going to sustain the power that is being used to drive the system remember However, I want you guys to know that you can't create something from nothing. So they have to be something to be able to create another thing, which means you have to use a, an existing source of power to power the system for it to work. That is just the idea behind the whole system. So if you guys need any question, just comment down the comment section below and I'll answer your comments. Thank you guys for your love. Thank you guys for your support. I'll see you on the next upload tomorrow. Take care.